My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got an absolutely gorgeous 1979 Lincoln Mark V here. 16,700 actual mile survivor car. It is absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe how nice the interior especially is. Go to volocars.com. You can read all the specs, study over 100 pictures, get the price. Not only on this one, but we have a few hundred collector cars and they're all for sale. Visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, join me. Let's go for a spin in this Lincoln Mark V. And you're going to notice this thing barely spins in this photo room. It takes up wall to wall. This is the last year that they made this big of a car. They started downsizing. And I did read on the internet, this was the largest car produced in 1979 was the Lincolns. Anyway, uh, yeah, 16,700 and some odd miles. The car is definitely an original Survivor. Is not a question in my mind. Underneath the car is not detailed. It's not undercoated or been repainted. It's original, and I'm very impressed by it. Don't be turned off by surface rust on some raw metal parts. It's just surface. There's no rot, no rust to speak of under this car at all. You can wipe any part of this car. You can wipe the floors with a rag. The floors are nice and clean. It still has factory uh, markings. There's tags on all the springs and they just put different markings on parts as it went down the assembly line so they knew how to build the car. All those markings are still there. It has the original exhaust with the dated Ford muffler still on it. Uh, it has a C6 automatic trans, disc brakes at all four wheels. And again, the underside of the car is not detailed, but I'm going to call it outstanding original condition. The body is amazing. There's no body damage. There's not a door dent. There's no rust, no body damage at all. The paint is called Jubilee Gold Moon Dust. Uh, beautiful color, like a champagne gold color. Fits this car beautifully. I think the paint, considering it's original, is amazing. There will be a couple minor flaws. There's a little nick right here. Um, outside, the sun hits it a certain way and there's some something happening in the clear coat or under the clear coat. I can't even find it in here, but I did see out in the sun, there's some like fine lines under the clear. Uh, so minor imperfections in the paint, but I mean, it's original, it's gorgeous. I've seen a lot of low mile cars. This will stand up with the best of them. The padded Landau top is excellent. There's no issues with that. As the opera window, all this trim is pristine. All the glass is crystal clear. The Continental kit uh, tire hump here, uh, obviously that's where it comes from, the Continental. But all this chrome, beautiful. The rub strips are not beat up or nicked. That bumper is spotless. This rubber filler panel, they always crack and break. Excellent on this car. This has the white painted on pinstripe from the factory. It's still in excellent shape, not buffed uh, through or buffed off. All the trim just shines. Uh, the body side molding matches the car. That was an option. The big polished rocker moldings was an option. This has a defroster package that includes heated mirrors. Windshield's crystal clear. There is a nick on this door right here. Up front, big chrome radiator shell. There's a couple nicks, like something fell on it. But again, all the plastic is not broken. It has retractable lights. Look how nice all this chrome and lenses mint. The wheels, I love the turbine wheels versus hubcaps. The wheel makes the car, and these are brand new dual stripe radial tires. The originals just due to age were just changed recently. Within the last few months, these were just put on. Uh, they took off the original tires. So yeah, the outside of the car, 
is excellent. I'm not saying perfect, but it's excellent. Inside the car, the door jams are mint, weather strips are soft. That's a light color interior, and it looks new. I'm telling you, it's not worn, it's not dirty, it's not dingy. It's a beautiful interior. Trunk compartment, huge. There's a full-size spare sitting there. It barely takes up any room. So it's all wall-to-wall -wall carpeted. Got the tire cover. It even has a carpeted bag for the jack. Underneath here is original paint. There's five or six factory stamp markings. There's stickers. The light works. The original weather strip is excellent. So the trunk is excellent. This light color leather is just beautiful and it's soft. It's so nice. And it has all the power windows. Uh, this has the optional power lumbar. The other side reclines. It also has the quadraphonic electronic stereo with a factory Ford CB radio. Imagine that, a big Lincoln luxury car with a CB in it. Now the radio works, the digital display kind of half works. Some of the numbers aren't showing up completely. There we go. There's a little trick to open this and I shouldn't do it with keys in my hand. There we go. We got it. So that's a 400 motor in here, all original. Again, paint markings, paint stamps. Uh, all over it. There's an X right here. That's from the assembly line, the stickers. Uh, it's got cruise control, power steering, power uh, brakes, of course, and it's all in original condition. The dash is mint. All the chrome sparkles, the plastic, all this on, on the uh, door panels, none of it's broken or falling apart. The big plush carpet and the mats are excellent condition. has a tilt wheel, uh, has the uh, headlight dimmer system, has a climate control. Um, overhead, the headliner is pristine. The visors are mint. I mean, nothing's dirty. It sparkles. The lights work on both of them. The mirror is mint. The steering wheel is mint. There's no cracks in it at all. I checked every ashtray and all the lighters. It looks like the main cigarette lighter may have been used once. It's just, just one dab of a cigarette on there. The rest of them are all never been used. So we'll start it up. Such a luxurious interior. Just amazing. It has a power trunk, of course, and it works. There we go, try and turn on the headlights. Motor is smooth. Yeah, I better get out of the way, I don't get run over by a Lincoln. There's a headlight knob, which I just learned, you don't pull, you turn it. That's why it took me a second to turn the lights on. just amazing it's all the same color the seats the headliner it's all one color it's not ten different shades I think they call this the razor Lincoln because the tops of the fenders have these razor edges on it but this is just class you'll never remake a car like this again there's some luxurious cars out there but this is different it's in a class of its own Oh, geez. You already know it's running now. I also have the Marty Report, uh, which is from Ford's Microfilm. It gives all the options, where the car was sold new, how many were made, all sorts of good information.
I just gave you my honest impression of the car. I love this one. Matter of fact, when this one showed up, everyone here liked it. My dad came up to me and said, oh my God, that car, my son, I wouldn't think he'd even care about a car like this. He loved it. Uh, so I think it's excellent. That's my impression of the car, but go to volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact the salesman on there. If you have specific questions or concerns, ask them. They will help you with the car, the financing, the delivery, the paperwork. They can make it easy for you. So go to volocars.com. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. You'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.